looked at the top 10 most beautiful castles in the world, you're going to get to make your own castle. Um, and we're going to start out by drawing with oil pastel. So you're going to choose a color, doesn't matter what color, and we're going to use geometric shapes to build our castle. So you're going to start out by holding your paper vertical. And I like to use this part of my finger to make so you'll start out about this far away from the edge of the paper and you're going to make two tall rectangles. Then you're going to go in on the other side and do the same thing. We want to make this castle symmetrical. Now we want to make our castle symmetrical, which means the same on both sides. So I'm going to try and do this as best as I can. So I've got two rectangles and now I'm going to connect it with a horizontal line. The next thing we're going to do is add the details to our castle. So maybe I want to turn these into two towers. If I'm going to do a triangle on this side, I need to do a triangle on this side. So it's the same on both sides. This is called symmetrical. Maybe I want to go in and add squares. Maybe I want to do a semicircle for the door, the gate, the vertical lines. And then I'm going to add the windows. So you want to make sure that they're the same on both sides, that they're symmetrical. So I might do ovals at the top, and maybe a square. a rectangle so they're the same on both sides. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get to paint. So I might add some things to my sky to make it a little more interesting. So maybe I want a big sun. Maybe I want some clouds that are behind. Now I'm ready to paint. So now you're going to do what's called watercolor resist. And you're going to use timber cakes. These are kind of like watercolors. You're going to get a paintbrush and you need to use water to activate the paint. And then you're going to get to paint it. Now, the one thing you want to remember is to make sure that it is the same on both sides. If I go in and paint this rectangle green or er, red, I'm going to go in and paint this rectangle red. So I'm going to go in and paint this one red. If I paint this circle red, then I need to paint this circle red for this oval. 